What's up guys, welcome back, Strebo here from Mutantville.com. I'm gonna do a quick video log for you today about attending horror conventions. All right, this video is not gonna be so much for you seasoned um, convention goers. Um, perhaps someone that's new to the scene, has never been to a convention before, might have a few questions, will find something of value in this video. So I'm gonna try not to ramble too long and uh, get in a little bit of tid tidbits of information that hopefully you will find useful and help you get the most from your convention going experience. So let's get started because you know we have one of the biggest conventions of the year coming up this weekend and that is Horror Hound in Indianapolis. That's right, we are gonna go meet George A. Romero, Sid Haig, Elvira, Clive Barker, and so many, so many more. Where do we get started? Okay, first, figure out what convention you want to go to. If you don't have any idea of what conventions you want to attend, usually I just figure it out based on which guests are attending which conventions. Like For example, I wasn't sure I wanted to go to Horror Hound until they announced Clive Barker. As soon as they announced Barker, boom, I was in because that's the closest he's ever been to me. So I knew I had to go to it. Okay, um, I would like to recommend you go over to deadpit.com download their latest episode it was the March 19th episode where they talk about horror conventions and they give you the rundown on basically all the major conventions in the states uh, except for Fangoria because they you know they always piss on Fangoria but you know whatever that's part of their gimmick but anyway go listen to those guys they give you the rundown on a lot of good things then come back here okay now as soon as you figure out which convention you want to go to like Horror Hound for example the first thing you have to do is book your room. As soon as they announce the convention, as soon as they tell you where it's going to be, book your room. It doesn't matter if that's six months in advance, eight months in advance, or even a year in advance. Call up, make your reservations. The thing about making your reservations, it doesn't cost you anything now. Just call up and make it. Usually conventions run on a Friday, Saturday, and a Sunday, okay? Go ahead and book for Thursday night as well, even if you're, you, you know you're going to show up on Friday. Because the week of the convention, you can always call and cancel that Thursday night. But if you f get yourself to the week of the convention and you find out you can go a night early and get there Thursday so you can be there all day Friday, guess what you can't do? You can't get that Thursday night book. Go ahead and book it in advance, okay? And book as soon as you can and talk, start talking to your buddies about getting them to go because that's the best way to get your prices down is to have as many of your friends with you um, pile up into these rooms and go take advantage of it, okay? Uh, normally, you just tell them, look for a room with two, with two double beds. Tell them you got two people you know, that are going to be there. It doesn't matter if you wind up having six, seven, eight of you piling in there. Just try not to flaunt it too much at the hotel. And you can get away with it and your cost will be down where, where you can all afford it. Okay, um, now if you're on a super budget, you don't have money to spend, you don't have that two, three hundred dollars to spend for the convention, uh, for the uh, lodging at the convention, what you can do, you can go and crash in your car. I mean, uh, it takes a lot of, you have to have a lot of fortitude to do that. You just get there as early as you can, hopefully on the Thursday night before, so you can have your pick of the parking. Uh, find a good spot in a corner somewhere where you can you can park where you're going to be inconspicuous as you actually sleep in your car, you know, for one, two, three days. I have done that before, and I was able to attend a convention on the cheap, but mind you, I also had a, a splitting migraine headache by the third day because I was so dehydrated from sleeping in my car. But, you know, you can wash up in the restroom and that kind of stuff. But, you know, hey, if you're, if you're on a budget, you got to do what you got to do. Um... It's a good idea to bring snacks with you in advance. Go ahead and buy stuff at the grocery store that, that you can take with you. That way you don't find yourself having to forage for food once you get there. You know, load up on those Doritos or whatever you want to take with you. If you're eating smart, you're taking apples, bananas, those kind of things. But if you're just taking, you know, munchy food, then grab those Doritos, you know, grab, get that, you know, six-pack of Diet Pepsi, you know, take a cooler with you. Have all that stuff with you so you can snack whenever you need to. Um, the first thing you need to do is take a look at the schedule once it's posted. Okay, they, the schedules usually go up 
kind of the month of the convention, maybe sometimes three weeks in advance, sometimes two weeks in advance, yeah, you know, and sometimes, you know, one week, the actual week of the con itself, take a look at the schedule and make yourself an itinerary, okay? Because there are going to be things happening at the same time that you're going to want to check out. Make sure it's not something you can catch later, okay? Um, like, for example, if you want to see a particular movie playing there and you know it's playing on Friday and Saturday, balance it out against what else is happening on those days. Make yourself a schedule. Actually, write it out. Write out the times and the things you want to do. This is going to help you maximize your time at the convention, okay? Um, because num one of the number one things people want to do is either A, get signatures and meet their celebrities, or B, they want to buy cool, you know, crap and memorabilia and get that all that cool convention swag. So you got to figure out what days you're going to shop, what days you're going to meet celebs, and you know what times you're going to do that. So look at the convention schedule. If there's a pan, if you want to go to the Day of the Dead, Day of the Dead panel, make sure you put that on your your itinerary so you don't miss it. You know, if you want to attend the Dead Pit Slasherthon happening Friday night at the uh, Horror Hound, make sure you put that on your itinerary so you don't miss it. Okay, make sure you write those things out. It'll take you, you know, one night the week of the actual convention. But you'll have a plan, you can go, you can have fun, and you can maximize your experience. Now the big thing about signatures is it costs money. Don't ever plan on, on anybody giving you a signature for free. You can possibly get a picture for free, but that's that's a different story. If you, if you go out and talk to them and say, hey, like I'm low on money or whatever, you know, I was a fan of your work and this and that and this and that, do you mind if I get a picture at the end of it? And, you know, maybe they'll say yes, maybe they won't. Okay, but you're going to have to pay for signatures, okay, which usually involves buying some kind of 8x10 photo that they have at their table. The majority of the celebs are going to have something there for you to buy, so you don't have to worry about scrambling to find something, okay. And usually if you buy something, have them sign it, then they'll let you take a picture when you get finished, and you'll have a good time talking to them. But figure out whose signature you want the most. For this convention, you know, I love Romero, but I've already met him, you know, two or three times, so I'm going to meet Barker. Okay, there he is, over here, Barker. That's my number one you know, signature hunt this time out, okay? So, what do I have to do Friday when I get there? I have to jump in the Clive Barker line. Now, why am I jumping in the line Friday? Because he's going to be there on Saturday. Well, because Saturday is the busiest day. If you're one of those people that's only going for one day, Saturday is the day that everybody goes for. It's going to be busy. The lines are going to be insane. So I want Barker, I'm going to jump in his line as soon as I can. Now why am I not hitting the vendors tables? Well, because the prices are actually higher on Friday, they're higher on Saturday. If you wait to shop until Sunday, you can you can talk them down a little bit. You can, you know, you can you can barter with them and bring them down, okay? I'm going to end up running out of time. So, uh, figure out whose signature you want, do it the first day, okay? You know, and have your plan out in advance. For example, I know I want to meet Romero, Clive Barker, Elvira, and Joe Bob Briggs because the drive-in will never die. What's up, Joe Bob? So those are my four signatures. I have like a hundred bucks I've set aside for that. Now anybody else, that kind of comes out of my, you know, my shopping mess around money. If I decide that I, I want to get a signature from Doug Bradley, you know, I'll take that money out of my, you know, um, my shopping money and I'll go and talk to Bradley. Um, but decide who you want to get that signature from on the first day. And my recommendation is wait until Sunday to start shopping, okay? Um, now, if you are a collector and a diehard hunter, there might be something that you're looking for that could possibly sell out if it's in low quantities. So when you look around on Friday and you're scouting the tables but not buying yet, okay, make that decision if you find that rare item and somebody only has one copy of say it's evil dead the musical they only have one copy and you're afraid it's going to sell out go ahead and buy it friday but otherwise wait until sunday you're going to see some bargains pop up and you can take advantage of those then so uh what else i'm about out of money here um about out of time but if you're out of money still go around and talk to the celebs enjoy yourself if you have a, gen a, a genuine conversation with them, you don't geek out or don't fanboy out of, on them where, oh, I love you and this and that and you're so amazing. Just be respectful. Talk to them like a normal human being. How are you doing today? How are you enjoying the convention? You know, you'll, you'll enjoy your conversation with them. They're usually there to entertain you. Unless it's Tom Savini. If you're a huge Savini fan, don't talk to him because you're probably going to get disappointed. Um, I love Savini, but every time I meet him, he's kind of gruff. You know, so what, what can you say? But... Pretty much that's it. So get get your your most important signature that first day. Don't wait. 
do your shopping on the last day, have your itinerary, know where you can go and when, so you maximize your con experience from beginning to end. Don't get too, too drunk at the night at in nights because you don't want to feel like crap the next day and miss half the convention. Okay, if you're gonna drink, do it in moderation. Don't go crazy. What's the point in spending all this money to go drive ten hours, go a thousand miles away, and get blasted? You know, do it in moderation. Enjoy yourself, but don't overindulge to the point where you can't enjoy the convention the next day. And once again, go to deadpit.com, download their latest episode, the March 19th episode, where they talk about horror conventions. They'll give you some more tips on which cons you can attend. And uh, hopefully I will see you at Horror Hound this coming weekend. If you see me, stop me and say, hey, Strebo, what's up? And I'll say, hey, we're doing fine down at Mutantville. See you next time, guys.